Okay, here we go with for part two. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this program, and and I realize that it, the code will actually get bigger, and it may look more confusing to you or, or, or not. I don't, I don't know. Um, but what's going to happen is we're going to make your code very, very reusable. And and that, that that's uh, the great thing about um, arrays and loops and functions is that uh, we we can we we can use code uh, over and over again. So what I'm going to do is I'm, this is our program here, and I'm just going to put this across there for now. I'm going to delete it later, and I'm going to make a function called get numbers. And what it's going to do, it's going to do part of my my program for me. Okay. So instead of lunches, I'm not going to call it lunches. I'm going to call it, maybe I'll call it numbers, something like that. Um, and the idea here is that this, this um, function is just going to get some numbers from the user. Um, right now it's blank because later maybe it's not lunches I want maybe it's bowling scores or something like that um, and I'm just gonna say enter a or enter number there because it might not be lunches it might be something else and the total I'm not worried about here because um, that there's the end of my for loop and I'll tell you why in a second. Um, that should be indented. Let me indent that because that's part of this function. And here's the end of this function right there. Um, but what this is going to do is it's going to return that array. Uh, numbers. Um, and even better here, so notice that this would work for only five numbers, right? What we could do is we could say let this function read in how how many how many numbers it wants and then loop that many times. So if this program we want to read in five numbers, well what happens if we wanted to read in seven or twelve or one or three or some other number? Well this code now is more flexible. It's just going to read in how many times we want to ask the user for a number and then loop that number of times. See, this is very flexible code. Um, and I think I've given you a copy of this, so I'm, I'm, not, uh, I'm not going to... Uh, there's all the commenting and stuff in there. I'm not going to waste um, time during the video doing that. Um, but this function just gets the numbers. We need another one to add up the array. So in this array, or in this function rather, we're going to need to call in the array, right? Because, you know, we don't, we're not sure what the array is called. So I'm going to call this array in. And then here I have my total, which starts at zero. And I need another little loop. I'm just going to copy this same loop. Notice we don't need to prompt anything. What do we want to do is we want to add up. And we don't know how many, but remember, if we've got an array, all arrays know their length. So I could just loop on how many times the array has, you know, you know, the length of the array. And then here, total equals total plus array in i right because that's going to loop through the, using the for loop that's going to be go from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 however long the array is and add up those values now i'm kind of worried that they might be strings in this array so i'm going to again parse those to to floating point numbers parse float and at the end i'm going to return the total and notice this is going to work for all the time, whatever array comes in. Now notice that 
where I had this many lines of code, I, I have more now, except for these functions I could copy and paste into my other programs. This gets any number of numbers, this adds up any number of numbers, and all I need to do is write my main little program. My main little program, well, what do I want to do? I want to have, this is kind of like my main program here, my lunches is an array that where I'm going to say get numbers and how many numbers that I want to get while well, it was five for this program five lunches and then at the end all I wanted to do is print out the total you spent and then add up array and it's going to pass. I want to pass them the 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 uh, lunches array. I like rounding. On lunches. So notice that where's my main program? It's really only these two lines, right? It calls this function get numbers. Then it prints out this function passing it that array, and that should work. Let's just see if it does. Absolutely. And notice that if I change this to, to 7 or 12, then it would work just as well. Any, any number of numbers. So these functions are pretty useful for other programs as well. Okay, even my lunches program only has those two little tiny lines with these functions, um, uh, you know, used from other programs or used again. Um, all right, so I think you've got some exercises to do, and uh, hopefully you uh, understood about these functions and you're getting used to these bigger JavaScript programs.